Emilia Nilsson Garrup cemented her place in the 2023 European Games 3-meter springboard final with her amazing sixth-place finish at the preliminary rounds, which we've already covered on this channel in a previous video. I have put together all her highlights from the final for you in this video. She's competing in a field of 12 exceptional athletes who managed to qualify in the prelims. Make sure to keep watching till the very end to see her placing and the final standings. Here we go with the first of five rounds. She's performing a back two and a half somersaults in the pike position with a difficulty of 3.0. Let's see what she's got. Wow, that's a beautiful first dive. Very well executed. I really like the way she gets into the pike position, very fast and sharp. The impact wasn't perfect, but it is still a very good start for her. That's 66 points for Amelia. So after the first round, she's tied for second place with Lena Henschel from Germany, and only 4.5 points away from the top spot. Dive number two. This is a forward three and a half somersaults in the pike position, with a difficulty of 3.1. Usually, Amelia struggles a bit with those forward dives. Let's see. Yeah, apparently she kept holding on to the pike position for too long, which caused her to be over-rotated at the impact. From this angle, you can see it more clearly. She gets a score of 49.6 for this dive. This can definitely set her back a little. If she wants to claim the top spot, there is not much room for mistakes. As you can see, she slipped to seventh place overall after two rounds. The points in the top eight are all pretty tight, which means every competitor within the top eight has still a good chance to win this event. Let's move on to dive number three. This is a reverse two and a half somersaults in the pike position with a difficulty of 3.0. Oh wow, that looked absolutely beautiful. Fantastic performance. Amelia is very good at these reverse and backward rotations. She understands perfectly where she is mid-air. You can clearly see that she has so much control. And the impact looked flawless. Just as expected, she gets an excellent score of 72 points. She managed to rank up two places on the leaderboard. Currently, she's in fifth place with a total score of 187.6 after three rounds. Fourth round. Amelia is going to perform a forward two and a half somersaults one twist in the pike position with a difficulty of 3.0. And again, an excellent dive from Amelia. She went very high and kept the perfect distance from the board. Nice twist, and her legs are together the whole time. That has to be another high-scoring dive for her. She gets an amazing 69 points for this performance. As you can see, she ranked up again and is now sitting in third place with a score of 256.6. The top three are just two points apart from each other. This will be very interesting, because that means it will all come down to the next round. Fifth and final round. If she performs now, she has a good chance of winning the whole event. This is an inward two and a half somersaults in the pike position, with a difficulty of 3.0. Wow, beautiful takeoff. This was also a good dive, I would say. She was maybe a little bit short on the impact. Here you can see it better. Her body was not completely vertical, which caused some splashing. 60 points at her final dive. Will it be enough for first place? In the end, Amelia got second, with a total score of 316.6. She was very close to winning this whole thing. The Italian athlete Chiara Pelicani had an amazing last dive, which propelled her to victory. Amelia can be very happy with her performance. She was truly remarkable. Show some love by liking the video and subscribe to my channel for more fascinating content.